Hi students, myself Jay Prakash and you are watching VSIT Max Tutorial. Today I am going to teach you the problems related to exercise 4.1 of factorization of class 8. See in previous video we have solved the problems related to the first main and today we are going to solve the problems related to the second main of the 4.1. Okay, So we need to factorize first and second problem here we have given. And see what is the method we have to use here. In the previous method, we have taken first method of factorization that is uh, taking the common factors out. Okay. And here what we need to do? Second method that is factorization by grouping. Okay. Here, first what we have to do is we have to group the terms which are having common factors. Okay. Now let me see here these problems can be done in different ways now here this first problem itself can be done in two ways let us see what are those now here if i take these two terms separate and these two terms separate see how we need to select first that is very important here these two terms contains a and these two terms contains b for that reason i am separating terms having a as common factor and terms having b as common factor if that is the case in these two terms a is common i will take a outside a into remaining a plus x see a into a a x square sorry a square plus a into x a x now same like that here b is common i will be taking outside b isn't it now rest we need to write a plus x see b into a that is a b plus plus into b means plus b plus b into a is a plus a b plus b into plus a x that is plus b into x b x is it it now see here these four terms were reduced to two terms this is one and this is one okay and here in these two terms again a plus x is the factor which is common to the both terms so if it is common we need to take a plus x outside so a plus x now what is the rest remaining here if you take a plus x outside the balance is a here and same a plus x if you take outside you will be having plus b this is the procedure a plus x and a plus b are the factors of a x square plus a x plus a b plus b x see this can be written in another form i said that is see here if i take this a x and b x so x will be the common factor if this is the first method method one okay let me go for method two in method two i will be taking terms which has x as common factor so i will be grouping a x and b x so i can write like this a x plus b x and next where a as the common factor so here i am having a and even here also a so plus a square plus a b now this is one group and this is one group and here also like you know this is one group and this is one group now in this group x is common factor so we need to take that x outside so a plus b into x a into x is a x plus b into x is plus b x now here plus as it is and in these two terms a is common so i will write a plus b into a see a into a is a square plus a square plus b into a is plus a b is it not now here again a plus b and a plus b is common here for the both the terms so if there is a common term we need to take outside now a plus b i will be writing outside and remaining here x and here remaining is a now see a plus b into x plus a and here also you got a plus b into x plus a where the numbers are interchanged that's it okay now here a plus b into x plus a is the solution for this problem okay now let us see the second problem of the second domain here in this see 3 ac plus 7 bc is one group why because c is common for these two terms and the rest of these two is one group where d is common for them 
okay now let me write those groups separately 3 ac plus 7 bc 3 ad minus 7 bd is it not this is separate group actually okay now how to write in this group c is common so i'll be taking c outside so that i can write 3a plus 7b into c now minus 3a plus 7b into d is it not see here 3a plus 7b into c minus 3a plus 7b into d here 3a into c is 3ac plus 7b into c is plus 7bc now minus 3a into d is minus 3ad minus 7b into d is minus 7bd okay and see here we are having four terms and it is reduced to two terms here now this is one term and this is another term now in this two terms we are having 3a plus 7b as the common factor now take that 3a plus 7b separate now rest we are having here in this term is c and in this term is minus d there it ends here 3a into c 3ac 3a into minus d minus 3ad 7b into c 7bc 7b into minus d minus 7bd okay by grouping these two where b sorry c is common and here d is common we have done and you can do in another format that is by taking 3ac and minus 3ad as one group and 7bc and minus 7bd as another group by taking b as the common factor okay you do with this group okay and i hope you understood the problems of first and second okay and let us go to the third problem okay third and fourth of uh, same main second main okay now let us solve the third and fourth problem of uh, second main of uh, fourth exercise means uh, fourth chapter first exercise see here in this we can group these two and these two where in these two terms y is the common factor and 3 is the common factor how 3 will be the common factor here see here 3 as usual here it is given and here 6 6 can be written as 3 into 2 so you will be having 3 here and here and y already is there isn't it now here 3 xt 6 zt here 3 we are having and 6 can be written as 3 into 2 and t is also common there okay now let me group these two one and these two one okay now here 3 y i will be taking 3y outside 3y into x 3y into x is 3xy minus see i am having 6 here so with 3 if i multiply compulsory i should have here 2 3 twos are 6 why i am having z 2z okay and now here minus 3xt plus 6zt what to write here let you write here uh, 3 and t outside first 3t why because this 6 can be written as 3 into 2 3 okay 6 now 3t here i am having minus let me write here minus minus 32 into x is minus 3xt is it not minus 32 into x is minus 3xt and now here minus is there and here plus is there we need to write minus okay now 3 2s are 3 2s are 6 Minus three into minus two, minus three into minus two. So minus into minus will become plus three twos are six. Already t is there. We need to write z. Okay. Now see these four terms is reduced to two terms. And in these two terms, x minus two z, x minus two z is common. So if there is a common factor, we need to write separately. So x minus two z. one factor and now the remaining we need to write here in this term x minus 2z derivative and 3y is remaining minus this is 3t so x minus 2z and 3y minus 3t are the factors of this problem and this is what factorization now let us solve fourth problem of second okay here we are having six terms and i will make this into three groups like this okay now this is one group one group 
and another group. See in this group, see y cube and y square. So we said already we have discussed that if you are going to take the common factor, compulsory the power means should be low or less. The uh, variable which has less power has to be taken as the common factor. Now here in this y cube and y square, two is the least value so i will be taking y square as the common factor so if i write common factor outside y square now already y square is the y y square into y is y cube minus 3 y square into 3 is minus 3 y square plus now i will be taking y outside 2y outside 2y no need see actually why let it be inside i will be taking 2 outside 2 into y 2y plus 2 into minus 3 you will be getting minus 6 and now last y x x is common let me take x outside and here uh, any other x x that's it x is common now minus x into y minus x into y is minus x y already plus is here one minus is here minus into minus you will be getting plus x into 3 3x is it not now see here the six terms is converted here into three terms is it not and each term has common factor that is y minus 3 is it not now let me take y minus 3 outside as a common factor y minus 3 if we take y minus 3 outside and rest what we are having in each term has to be written here so in this term y by 3 y minus 3 is here rest y square y minus 3 is here plus 2 y minus 3 is here minus x is the this is what the factorization for this problem and x y minus 3 and y square plus 2 minus x is the factors of this problem okay i hope you understood the problems of uh, second main 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. If you are understood, uh, if you are impressed with this video, don't forget to like the video and if you have not uh, subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell button for further notification. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video.